Blue Lock Chapter 240 starts with Hitoshi Rin who has ended Nagi in Manchin C with a hat-trick and Rin makes it a 3-1 victory for PXG. Nagi asks Rin after the match how he is still getting stronger and what drives him that much. Rin replies that he knows the reason and that he wants to surpass his brother Sai and kill Izagi. Nagi then asks Rin what he will do after he has achieved everything he wanted to do, but Rin just says that he doesn't know yet and that this story will be the end with him. The one who paints the battlefield will decide the outcome and Nagi is just one of those who will fall into hell, according to Rin. Back to Best in Munich vs Ubers and Izagi is happy that he has won and remembers Kaiser's words about competing in the number of goals and that he has won against Kaiser now. The announcer now says that game 5 and 6 have been completed and that we are going to see the annual salary rankings. All the rankings are now flashed on the screens, starting with Nanase in 29th and a worth of 3 million yen and so on. The announcer now says that games 5 and 6 have been completed. I will do a separate video where I will show and talk about all the rankings and market value soon this week. So let's just skip to the top 23, because the top 23 will be the borderline to represent Japan and U20 World Cup and guys. Santets is in 24th with a market value of 8 million yen, which means that Santets will not be in the U20 World Cup lineup yet, which is insane, considering that other attackers like Zendo in 18th were actually able to qualify for it. So yeah, big disappointment for Santetsu, who was one of the most promising players in the first selection, together with Nagi and Ryo, and maybe Santetsu did a mistake by joining PXG. Nagi and Ryo are in 7th and 9th with a market value of 43 million and 36 million yen, and their values actually dropped as they had a horrible performance against Rin and PXG. On to the top 5 guys, and in 5 we have Kunigami together with Chigiri and a market value of 50 million yen. And to be honest, seeing Kunigami in 5 with such a high market value is a joke at first, but I feel like his full potential will be released in the last match. In 4th we have Bajira with 66 million, in 3rd Bao with 130 million and a bit from Uvas, and in 2nd Izagi with 150 million and Izagi jumps from 50 million to 150 million, which is an insane development for Izagi. And of course, the number one striker is Rin, with a market value of 180 million. I'm not surprised as Rin will of course always be Izagi's biggest rival till the end of the series and the one Izagi needs to overcome in the end to become the world's greatest striker. Kaiser also has a new market value, a value of 320 million yen and also a bit from Spain's Real, which is Real Madrid in real life. So guys, like we all guessed in the theories before, Kaiser is going to leave Bessa Munich and will join Zai to form a brutal duo and maybe, just maybe, Rin and Izagi are going to play for the same club one day to beat the duo of Zai and Kaiser as they are both their biggest rivals. This would actually be pretty cool if I think about it now and I can imagine that something like this could happen in the future. We can then see Ness being happy for Kaiser as Kaiser is now closer to becoming the best striker in the world and Kaiser will now be the ace of Real, but Kaiser is far from being happy. Kaiser tells Ness to shut up and that he doesn't care about 320 million and a bit of Real as Izagi is currently better than him. Meanwhile we can see Izagi who is angry with the fact that he is still less than a half of Kaiser and that his value isn't even reaching Rin. The next and last match is going to be against France and Izagi doesn't want to be number 2, he wants to become the world's number 1 striker. A free will battle for the top between Kaiser, Izagi and Rin is starting from now on and this is how chapter 240 comes to an end. Alright guys, so the last match is going to start soon and we know that the best 23 players in the ranking of the NEL are the players that are going to represent Japan in the U20 World Cup. Currently Santetsu isn't in the lineup, Igarashi also, which is a huge surprise for me, but I'm sure that he will still make it into the lineup after the match against Bester Munich. Rin is currently Japan's best striker or at least Bulldog's best striker and Kaiser might join Real and become their ace with the help of Hitoshi Zai. Like I said before, I will do a new market value video this week where we'll talk about this chapter and all the market values and players. Alright guys, let me know what you think about this week's chapter and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.